What's up guys, Jay Joseph here, and today we have a special shoe from Nike SB. The review is gonna be on the Nike SB Force 58. Force 58 has a lot of crazy things going on with it. it. First of all, to me, it looks way more like a Jordan 1, which I respect way more. It's a really sick design. I love the color blocking of the pink salt colorway. And just all together, it feels like a nice shoe. Honestly, I'm just gonna read from a couple of the facts that Nike has directly from their site to you guys. And then I'm gonna give you a couple more facts that they haven't mentioned, just so you guys know everything that's going on with this shoe. So the Nike SB Force 58 is said to allow you to feel the future of cup sole. The latest and greatest innovation to hit the streets, the Nike SB Force 58 gives you the durability of a cup sole with the flexibility of a vulcanized shoe. Made from canvas and suede and finished with perforations, the whole look is infused with the heritage basketball DNA. The new cup sole design delivers the durability of a cup sole with the flexibility you need to reduce break in time and maximize skate days. TriStar shapes on the sole expand and contract for better grip and board feel right out of the box. For everybody who's just listening to that and is just like, what does that even mean? What they're saying is that they took from a basketball standard looking shoe, that's a low cut, and they infused what we need for skateboarding in it. The sole is made to have vulcanized and cup sole attributes, so this is a hybrid as well. So for the basketball DNA portion, the suede and canvas are the perfect pairing of durability and breathability. The swoosh on the toe is just to give homage to basketball. The new cup sole, which if you look at this, is the same cup sole that they use on the Nijas. Um, not as detailed, not as deep, but still there. Still that oxidic material that's going to space out when you take impact. Um, the new design delivers durability of a cup sole with the flexibility need to reduce break-in time and maximize your skate days. The TriStar shapes of the sole expand and contract for better grip and board fill right out of the box. That is the oxidic material on the sole here that was also featured in the Janowski RM when they first came out as well. And it has a secure fit using tongue centering bands. All right, so I had to interrupt uh, what I was saying outside because that part of the footage got corrupted. So I'm just gonna go on ahead and cover all the stuff I was talking about in that part of the footage. So what I was doing was I was explaining the shoe from my standpoint as I normally do. The toe cap is double stitched. So you have this pink layer and on top of it, the black layer. I wanted to say it was triple stitched because on the inside here, you could see that there's a layer that goes under this black piece up here. But just to be on the safe side and because I couldn't find any extra info on it, I'm gonna say it's still double stitched and maybe that this piece stops here. That's what we're gonna roll with. I don't know Nike to have any like type of backup layer of suede or rubber, or canvas, whatever the case may be, polyurethane. So I'm gonna go on ahead and assume that this pair is gonna be no different and that it's not gonna be any backup layer or screen protector or something of that nature under these two layers of suede. So if you're used to having that, I just wanna go on ahead and let you know that I'm not sure if it's going to be there. Not saying that it's not there, but I don't know Nike to normally have that there, so I'm gonna say it's not there. <laughs> if we go on to the vamp here, right on this side panel here, it's gonna be made of canvas, and the check is gonna be made of leather. It's gonna be stitched on, so if you do a lot of heel flips in this general area, you might eventually unstitch the check, but I would imagine that would stay on for the majority of skaters. I don't really see too many skaters uh, unstitch the check if it's made of leather. And going on to the heel counter, you do have suede and a nice plastic cert that keeps the stability of the sole on the inside underneath all the material that's gonna make it harder for you to like roll your ankle on the heel side, which is great because you need that stability in order to not roll your ankles as much or to prevent breaking your ankle. And I think this shoe is gonna do a very great job of doing that. On the inside, it is mesh. And it's nice and I would say it's moderately padded over here and the tongue is nice and thickly padded and the tongue is also made of mesh so it's going to be very breathable. Hey Momo, why do you always come up here when I'm filming bro? <laughs> this is an everyday 
thing you do. <laughs> As you can see, I actually wore the shoe already. I wear it fairly loose because I'm not currently skating them, but I'm about to skate them as soon as I can get back onto the board, which I will explain in another video. But all in all, this shoe is very nicely put together. It has a lot of points of perforations, a lot of breathable areas. The insole here is thin. It's very thin, paper thin. And the reason for that is because Nike believes that their sole is made on the heel area so thick that they don't need a very thick insole to go with it. And for what I felt so far by wearing it, it does feel really nice in the heel area. It feels like it will take impact. But as you guys can see, the insole is removable, is not stitched down or anything of that nature. So if you do need to throw another insole in here, I would recommend that you get an aftermarket insole and toss it in here. Right now, I'm not too sure that I will need another pair of insoles or anything of that nature to go in here. But if I do, I will probably end up purchasing a thinner pair of insoles, like a thinner pair of footprints to toss in here, because I know both of the pairs of footprints I currently own are entirely too thick for this shoe. If I could compare the sole to any shoe outside the Nike market, I could probably compare it to a pair of Tyshawns on the heel, because it really is mixing up vulcanization and cup sole, and you can really feel the impact protection or the thickness on the sole here for sure. So if you guys are into that stuff and you skate Nike, definitely check out that Force 58. Now back to the outside footage. So now the sole part, like Nike said, it is that TriStar look that's going to add grip and also space out for impact protection. So you're gonna have a decent amount of durability. I personally believe that they should have been as deep as the Nijas, but maybe there's a great reason for that. And it looks like they use recyclable materials. Normally when you see that like coloring and like dotting all over the place, it's because it's re um, recyclable materials used on the insole. So it's good to know that this shoe is using some type of recyclable material because as we all know, a lot of shoe companies do create a lot of waste. So it's good to see that they're trying to take care of the amount of waste that they're creating by making our shoes. Overall, you have a very nice setup shoe here. It looks amazing. I think it will skate really good. So instead of skating New Balance 272 first, I'm gonna skate these guys first because I know that this is gonna eventually become a limited pair of shoes. So I wanna let you guys know right away how these shoes are gonna skate. If you guys enjoyed this video on the Force 58s, make sure you guys grab yourself a pair. I'll leave a link in the description below like I did in the Nike video for the Force 58 specifically on Nike's site. But make sure you guys check out your local shops. And if not, check out your local shops. Make sure you check out any online shops first because we need to support our skate shops before we go grabbing straight from the site of Nike. Nike is going to make the money whether we get it from the shop or not. So it's better to give it to the shops first and then they can get it anyway. You just create the ecosystem that we need in skateboarding to keep skateboarding alive. So that's it. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. I make videos as much as possible on shoe reviews, skateboarding, anything I could come up with for you guys to entertain you guys. And have a great day and make sure you go skate. Peace out.